I am uh, here for my medicine elephant. Please. Oh, what? No. Yo, the Vitam, my alpha viewers. Today, we will dive into dissecting data structures with Shidanya. In a practical sense, it means we become investigators and deduce other attributes from things we already know. For example, you can find the magazine size when you have the current ammo, or the armor when you have the health address. This is possible because structures often store similar variables in close proximity, and we can inspect the structures to get to the other variables. This method will make game hacking way simpler, so make sure that you have this technique in your sheet making toolbox. You can like the video, write a comment, I'll take a look at it and react to it. You can join the Discord server. Now, don't be a douche, do not use sheets for unfair advantages, do not use it in multiplayer, you will get banned, just don't do it. All Sweat C Sharp tutorials are designed with multiplayer disabled. Now enjoy this tutorial. Alright, welcome to today's showcase. We will, in this tutorial, use our pointer from the previous video and dissect it using the sheet engine dissector and find other interesting values like the maximum value, uh, the ammunition cost and a lot of other stuff so we can find new information based upon the pointer that we already have. We don't have to search for these other values in themselves. All right, enjoy. All right, welcome to another tutorial. Today, we will go into Sheet Engine and use the dissecting tool of data structure. So I have Sheet Engine open air attached to the game Shanti, the Shanti Alginae Hero. And from the previous tutorial, we had a pointer scan from our firebot ammunition. So the top left bar, we had a value for that. And we will actually retrieve that pointer scan in our current sheet engine. So to do that, we can open the memory view. Then in the tools, we will click on the pointer scan button. Here, we can open a new or open a file and use our old pointer scan. So this pointer scan had some result. I will pick the pointer with the lowest amount of, of offsets. So this one seems the lowest amount for offsets. Double click on that. Then we have our pointer scan again. So we can change the value here and should be able to change the bar. Yeah. So the pointer still works. Change it back to 100. And we will now dissect the data structure that leads to this value. So this is last offset 28 means this value or the current ammunition and we will actually remove all of the offset from our pointer and go step by step to our ammunition we will collect interesting data the way and uh, hopefully find some other interesting values that we can change or use. So to open the data dissection tool, we can right click across this memory region. Here we can click on tools, dissect data slash structures. With this window, we can define a new structure. Let's call it our first structure. We will leave the settings. So, this is the beginning, and it doesn't say much, but we have our pointer path here. So, we can see that the address is the same as here, and we will now follow the steps of this pointer path. So, we will first make one step 
into the pointer and now look at offset at where is the offset at we can see some interesting stuff like a pointer instance to shanty object or component but we will follow our pointer 18 then 10 offset 10 next offset was 24 we go to the offset 24 here we can see now even more interesting object and fourth offset uh, it's c and we can see that it says magic component so this seems to be a magic component of sorts and this is probably our magic instead of fireball ammunition if we move into that we can now see some other interesting information so after c it was the last offset which we knew was our magic value or fireball value so if we go 28 in hex down from our last offset c we can see that it's a float and it says 100 so that's the same value as our pointer so we actually found all the way to here with the data dissection tool we can now uh, write down useful information about this structure change that back to 100 and we can uh, right click change element here we can type something like current magic let's change the color to it's a red color so we know that we have changed that and we can see now there is another value right beneath it which says 100 as well in a lot of games the maximum value will also be close to the current value so let's test that hypothesis of this being the max value if we change this to a 200 it should now only show a half of the bar and it does so i think we have found the max value it should back to 100 and it's full so we can double click on this as well as on the data type change this to max magic change this to the red again and we know the max magic so we have another value here it shows one in float test things like uh, changing it to a zero and it should have some effect so let's uh, check if it does anything with our magic value so if we shoot now we can see that it stays the same that means this is probably a value which determines how much magic we're using when we shoot a fireball so if we change that back to a one we can see that it takes normal ammunition cost or magic cost now this means we can just change this to a zero instead of writing over this all the time change that to magic cost At the end, when we're done, we can hold Ctrl S to save this as a sheet engine structure file and call it our first uh, or our structure. There you go. So we have successfully dissected some structures in sheet engine. And because we know that this was the pointer path C the opposite before our value we know that the max magic would instead of 28 just be 2c here the magic cost would just be 30 instead of 20. now i hope that i will see you in the next tutorial make sure to subscribe all right have a good one